Dance. Start, start. Ready? Now. So you're known for, so think you can dance? Yeah. What's it like transitioning into being a major actor in a uh, decom? Well, so you think you can dance was an amazing platform for me to start off. Um, I did that and then transitioning into something like this was kind of an amazing fit. I mean, in this big, huge musical number, we got to dance, we got to sing. So a lot of things that I learned from So You Can Dance, I got to take over into my acting career. Um, it's a little bit different though, so instead of being on the set and just using your body and doing all these dance numbers, now you're asked to do these scenes and, and, and be engaged with other people and use your words versus just your body. So it was, a, it was an awesome change and I personally enjoy it so much more and it's all storytelling and entertaining, so I loved it. It was fun. What inspired you to get into dancing to begin with? Oh, what inspired me to get into dancing is actually a funny story. I was just young and had a lot of energy and my mom was like, get out of the house. And so sports were just seasonal, so she wanted something year-round and then she's like, dance is all year round. She knew a friend of a friend and so I just started dancing really young and I just grew to love it. It was like a party every day. I got candy, I got to play with my friends and I got to listen to my favorite music. So that's how it kind of started. Now this movie obviously plays homage to beach movies of the 60s. Did you guys get any inspiration from those films? Did you watch any? Oh my, we totally did. In rehearsal we, we watched um, Beach Blanket Bingo and we watched some of the, definitely were inspired by the 60s moves like the Frug and all that kind of stuff. And, and there was a specific iconic woman with the fringe on her bathing suit that would always shake and we would just kind of watch her shake and so it was just a, a huge inspiration for us to like really pay a true to the 60s dance genre. And uh, one major staple of those films was Disney legend Annette Funicello who recently uh, passed yes. away. And so did, did that uh, mean anything to you as, as a, as a be, becoming the new Disney beach stars? Yeah, I mean, it was. we heard about that and we were also so, so sad in it. And, and, but it, as you see, great with this television and film is that film is forever, so her legacy will forever live on. And so I think that it was, it's an awesome thing that she get, got to do that. And we, we saw that and so hopefully our Teen Beach can kind of just pave the way for the next generation because I think it was really important for the, that generation to grow up with that. So now they're going to get inspired by by our moves and by our storytelling and hopefully generate just really positive energy and and just dancing and fun. Well, congratulations on being Thank part of so Disney much. history. Yeah. Thank you.